Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan, and this is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Proverbs 21, verses 14 through 16. A gift in secret pacifies anger, and a bribe behind the back strong wrath. It is a joy for the just to do justice, but destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. A man who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. All right. So verse 14, um, I still don't know why people like to run down the concept of gifts um, to people that have the ability to uh, make decisions that are favorable to you. As long as you're not asking them to uh, do wickedness for you. Um, I've never really kind of understood that, uh, you know. Uh, if what you're asking for is, is good and right, or if you've messed up and you need to make peace with someone, this proverb says, you know, that's an okay strategy. And, uh, you know, but for some reason people are like, that's wrong. He doesn't say it's wrong. He tells you it's a principle to learn when to use it for your benefit to avert the wrath and the anger of other people from you. And in other places, you know, to, to open doors. Uh, and, and, you know, the only time he condemns that is when someone does it with a judge to get the judge to pervert the course of justice for them so that they can be wicked and evil and and the judge turns a blind eye to it that's two two to, two different categories when you go through proverbs understand everything falls into two categories and the motivation and the actions that are behind certain things in proverbs is what makes the difference between it being a righteous and wise thing or a wicked and foolish thing. And, uh, you know, and so verse 15 and 16, obviously 15, uh, when, when justice is done, the righteous are glad and the evildoers are upset. Um, all we have to do is look at our political scene. You know, uh, people only want the people they don't like to be punished. But the people they do like are like, oh, yeah, it's okay that you were, you know, wicked and evil. You know, this is the problem in America. If you have enough money and enough power, uh, you can buy your way out of it. Oh, wait, that's what Proverbs condemns. But if you don't have the money and the power, then the system can crush you. And some well, they did wrong, they deserve it. Mm. The wrong of the poor compared to the wrong of the wicked wealthy, two totally different scales. And when you're punishing the people that can't defend themselves because they're wicked and foolish and stupid, but you don't punish the wicked who are wealthy and powerful and influential yeah that's why do you think the poor wicked are the way they are because they look at the wealthy wicked and they go well if our leadership's like that why is it wrong for me and so the principle holds the principle holds and of course 16 you know tyler obviously uh, uh you know most, uh, most proverbs say what they mean mean what they say Stay on the way of understanding, you'll live. What's the way of understanding? The fear of the Lord, the knowledge of the Lord, the wisdom of the Lord. That's the way of understanding. What's the opposite of the way of understanding? The way of not understanding. Well, there you go. Yeah, the way of foolishness. Mm -hmm. The way of foolishness. And foolishness here doesn't mean like a comedian. That's not what it means in Proverbs, even though many comedians are also foolish. No, the way of the foolish is they reject the knowledge of God. They reject God's principles. They live by basically none of them in their lives. And they're always plotting and scheming 
And, and this is also a hallmark. They plot and scheme harder to do wrong for less than what they would get if they just worked in what was right and honorable. It's always a fascinating thing. So Proverbs 21, 14 through 16. Do you have anything you want to add, my brother? No, sir. All right, with that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And uh, Lord, we'll see you back at lunchtime.